I trust that my feelings will become clear. I trust that what I'm feeling is right. I trust that actually love is a beautiful thing that knows what it's doing and that love reshapes itself and remoulds itself and that might be what it's doing right now. And at the moment there might be a period of confusion and darkness or, you know, lack of it, but that's okay. You know, things will become clear again. It can feel really, really confusing and actually sometimes anxiety provoking when our feelings for a specific person or even a person that we've been in a relationship with can lessen or dampen down or fade into the background. It can be like, what? Where did my feelings go? Why have they changed? What's happening and how do I get them back? So we're going to talk about that in this video. It's a really, really interesting topic that lots of people ask me very often. So before I jump into this video, if you would like to work with me twice a week, every week for 12 weeks in a beautiful group of people who are all on a manifesting journey, all on a healing journey, all on a journey of self-discovery, then have a look at my Conscious Creators Masters Academy. There are two spaces left and we start this Saturday. I would love to hear from you. I'd love to work with you. It's the most transformational program that I have. I love doing it. I love getting to know you. By the end of it, I know the people in the group so well. I'm going to know you so well. You're going to know me and you're going to know the others. And it's going to be a really beautiful, safe community for you to grow, flourish, get to know yourself, learn to be a conscious creator in a very powerful way. So if you'd like more information about that, send me an email or a direct message and we can book a 30 minute call where you can ask me anything about the program and I can find out about you. So back to losing feelings for your specific person. One of the main reasons why this can happen is because you've been working on your self-concept and your self-worth so much that now you have a different perspective of this situation. And this can feel confusing because on some level you still want the person, but you don't want them as they were. You're different. You know your worth. And this can feel like an adjustment, a changing period. And actually, sometimes this ends up being that you actually still don't want the person and that you move on and that you find someone else. Or it can be that you continue working on yourself, you continue focusing on yourself. And then eventually this person meets you where you are and you get to discover a new arrangement of love, a new feeling, a new type of love for this person, which isn't based on need or trying to get or needing to get love and safety and acceptance from this person because you've learned to give that to yourself and that's a much better place to come from. So if you're feeling like you're losing feelings but you have actually been working on your self-love and your self-worth, you've been focusing on yourself, then actually this is a really, really good sign. And actually you don't need to worry about this. It just shows you how far you've come and that things are changing and that the situation is changing and that things are evolving, the relationship is evolving. If you change, the relationship has to change. And so now you have to keep doing what you're doing and let the universe bring to you the circumstance and the situation which will show you what this person is to you, okay? So if you've been working on your self-love and your self-worth and everything, you're probably not that anxious about it, maybe a bit confused about it. But if you've been trying to manifest this person and you've been really thinking about them a lot, but you're still feeling like you've got work to do. We all have work to do, really. But you're still feeling like there's um, anxiety around this person. But your feelings are less. Or there's been a lot of hurt in this connection. Part of the reason why your feelings can lessen is because your body is protecting you. So sometimes it's a very self-protective thing for your feelings to lessen. It makes sense that your feelings would be less if there's been, you know, a long period of no contact, if there's been hurt in the connection, if there's been things like third parties or lots of things like that. It just makes sense that your body would protect you by saying no to a version of a person and the way that they've been showing up. So that, that makes sense that you'd be feeling like that. If you're feeling anxious about not having feelings for a person or you're feeling like you're ruminating, trying to get the feelings back, then that's an indication of an anxious attachment style, which is a prompt, a call from your inner child to feel that love from you. So it's also a call for you to really work on your sense of self-love and self-worth and do things for yourself, focus on you, trust that you are trying to get to a place where you're not needing the love from this person, you're not trying to get it, you have that from you. And as a result of that, your relationships will naturally unfold around you without you having to try too hard, without you trying to manifest anything. Honestly, trying to manifest a specific person sucks. 
<laughs> it actually sucks, really. When you're trying, trying, trying to manifest a specific person, it's really hard. And honestly, when you're starting to lose feelings or you feel like they're fading into the background and then you feel confused about it, it's just a call for you to work on yourself and let go of that anxious attachment. Sometimes actually, also another thing that can be anxiety provoking is that when our self-concept is changing, there's an adjustment period. It can feel like we're reforming, like a metamorphosis. It can feel confusing. It can feel dark. We're, you know, cocoon, we've been cocooned in this safe space for a while and in a, in a version of us that isn't really us. And as we're growing and changing, there can be growing pains. It can be confusing. It can be, where am I going now? What does life look like outside of this? I'm scared to let go. I'm scared to let go of the feelings because I don't know what comes after it. That's another really interesting point is that letting go of feelings that we've had that have actually been hurting us in a way can feel really scary because we don't know what's on the other side of not having these feelings. Will I be caught? Will I be safe? Will I be loved? Will I be in a relationship? If I let go of this person and these feelings, will anyone ever be there for me? You know, if we've been focused on this person for a long time and we've been trying, 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 it can be really hard and humbling to let go of that. But trust the process. Also, the other thing I want to say to you is don't try and get the feelings back because the harder you try to get the feelings back, the more that they will run away. This seems to be the way it is. The harder you try to feel something, the more that you will naturally feel the opposite. The harder you try to feel something, the more your brain goes, ah, oh, I see that we're focused on the lack of it. And so actually, unintentionally, we become focused on the lack of the feelings and then we become scared of not having the feelings and it's just a vic vicious circle. So my best advice for you is to literally just say, I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling right now and I trust that things will unfold. I trust that my feelings will become clear. I trust that what I'm feeling is right. I trust that actually love is a beautiful thing that knows what it's doing and that love reshapes itself and remoulds itself and that might be what it's doing right now. And at the moment there might be a period of confusion and darkness or, you know, lack of it, but that's okay. You know, things will become clear again. Love changes and changes and changes over the course of a relationship or, a, or of a lifetime, you know. We see things differently, we become different and we feel different. Sometimes those feelings of love are not there at all and that's fine. That's fine. We don't need them to be there. We d And actually, well, this is one of the things that we have this misconception that if we want to love someone, then we have to feel these uh, huge feelings of love all the time. And actually, we don't. You can love someone. Just think about how you feel about your friends or your family. You don't feel like an outpouring of love for them, but you know that you love them, right? You know, sometimes you get those bursts of, oh my God, I just love you so much, you know? And this is what we want it to be like with our specific person eventually. But at the beginning of a, of a connection and when there's, you know, separation or loss in a connection, those feelings can feel more intense. But as we balance out, actually, we can see the grounded sense of love that we have for this person that doesn't actually completely take over our life and just is what it is. It's just love. We just love this person. We don't have to try to love them. It's just there. You know, so another reason why you might be feeling the way you're feeling is because you're used to intensity, you're used to chaos, you're used to feeling a huge rush of love in order to know that it's there, you know, but actually you might be more regulated at the moment, you might be calmer and you might be moving into a more grounded sense of love, which might be a new narrative for you, you know, so that's normal too. You might resonate with bits and pieces of this video. Take what resonates because everybody's at a different place. It might be that you have an anxious attachment and you're anxious about losing the feelings. It might be that you're going into a more of a grounded sense of love and that actually it feels less intense, but that can be confusing because you're not used to that. It might be that you've grown in your self-concept so much that you're looking at this person from a different perspective and you're not really that anxious about it, but it can be confusing. Or it might be that you've grown so much and you're in that difficult adjustment phase where you're not quite ready to let go and you're scared of letting go because you don't know what's on the other side of letting go. And also, maybe you still want to be with this person, but you're also not feeling that much right now and you still want to know that it's going to happen. 
Trust that your feelings will unfold naturally, love will evolve naturally and the situations will occur as and when they're meant to. Everything in your life will become clear. You don't need to understand it all. You really don't need to understand this. Actually just trust that what you're feeling right now is right. Even if it's confusing, be with the confusion. Be with the confusion. It won't last forever. It's just a period of time. So I hope this video has been useful to you. I hope it's given you a sense of peace and a sense of relief that you don't need to try and get these feelings back. The harder you try to get them back, the more it will be difficult to feel them. Just let yourself be where you are right now and trust that it will evolve and it will make sense eventually. Everything that you're feeling makes sense. Trust yourself, trust love, trust the universe. Everything will become clear in time. If you'd like some one-to-one -one coaching, there are a couple of options available for that at the moment on my website. There's also my Conscious Creators Masters Academy, which is a much cheaper way of working with me. And actually it's one of the best ways to work with me too. I love doing the Conscious Creators Masters Academy. It's a very transformational program. I'm gonna to get to know you and the group so well over the 12 weeks that we're together. So if you'd like any more information about that, just let me know in an email or a direct message. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.